The story I'm about to read is 100% totally seriously written, definitely not written by any troll. The King of the Families, Chapter Uno, parentheses, Mexican. Bobby was walking along very bored. God, I'm so bored, says Bobby, and he stumbles along the house, filling the air with his scant. He comes to the garage and Hank Hill, Dad, is there, fixing a pipe with some swords and screws. Because... Hank Hill is a medieval warrior of propane. <laughs> it's right, am I right? <laughs> Genius. Howdy, Bobby, says the Texan dad in a jolly voice because I can't do a Hank Hill voice. Dad, I'm so bored, booms Bobbin loudly and Hank gets shocked. To the core. Bob, can I mean dad? Can I borrow your tools? I don't need to build a sign. Well, all right, Bobby, says the handsome. <laughs> handsome man, and he smiles a soft smile. A proud dad light shines on his face. I need to build a sign that says I'm gay with Meg Griffiths. Bah! <laughs> said Pepper. I'm glad I planned the murders so we had to move to Texas. Oh, it's supposed, it's supposed to be Peter. It's, it's Peter. It's from Family Guy, not Pepper. Like salt and pepper, like like a condiment. Like you put, you grab a sandwich, you put it on the sandwich, pepper, and it's spicy. No, it's Peter Griffin. It's the Family Guy guy. He's the Family Guy. He is the Family Man. Said Lopez, who is building a tacos with possum meat. <laughs> wow. Lol, Sturwe was getting into the Texas mood by pretending a cowboy. And he had leather chaps that didn't have a butt, lol, he's gay. Meg walked along the sidewalk dreaming of her new boyfriend, Bobby Hill. Bobby Hall. Wow, I'm so in love with this fat kid, said Meg out loud. He's so cool, he's even though he's like 13 and I'm 18. Ah! Too bad, he thinks I'm the boy of his dreams, but I'm a girl. Lameo, time to go meet my tubby hubby. Oh, God. She took out a note of, out of her hat and it said, Meet at the cattle ranch at 3 o'clock. Yikes, said Meg. It's already 2.59 in 59 seconds. So she ran like Sonic to the cattle place. And Bobby was there not wearing a shirt. Dang, said Meg. Hot. Just then, handhold Mosey's up in his pack 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 up truck and he spies the two boys kissing on the lips. Very gay. He's gonna get Gobby into the car. Trouble. Pepper Griffith saw the whole thing through his murder camera. Is this fatal frame now? And he got a surprised look. This is the first time my Megan daughter has ever liked a boy. Ah, gay. Then Lucille said, The tacos are ready! And Peter said, Oh boy, sweet, and went to eat them. He forgot. Hacksaw. Hank had this look on his face. A uh, stupid fucking O mouth, fucking little surprise face. That's what it's supposed to convey. It's an emote. I don't like emoticons. It's, they're stupid. Like, what's not too pleased if you catch him adrift? Bobby, who said you could use my power tools to be gay? Bobby was power sanding the warts off Meg's sticky feet, and the wart dust was going in his mouth, and he was like, oh yeah. Hank tried to pull the two boys apart, but then he got surprised by a clank of two iron swords. It was Cloud Stripe from Final Fence! And Air was fighting Boom Howard with big knives. Boomhauser said, dang, I'm talking about skulls, I'm talking about big blood man, I'm talking about karate chops, so said the Spanish soldiersman as he slapped Boomhauer in the proud, solemn face. Cloud casted a magical spell of ice on Boom Howard's feet, and Boom went, ah, dang old cold feet, dang, dang old man freezing up, dang, dang old man can't really handle it, and danced a light step to try to warm his chilled foot. Cloud Star took out the tacos and ate it, and he was all, dang, this taco is pretty good, mi amiga, and his green hippies flashed powerfully with a mighty light. Bobby and his hot beast she went inside to watch Jimmy Neutron, and suddenly Claude's Latino curse made a giant burrow crash into the house. And Bob and Maggie's bones were making out because they were gay skeletons with bloody kisses. That sounds like a My Chemical Romance song. Gay skeletons with bloody kisses. Alright, let's keep going. Kristoff said, Wow, hot! Then he went to the bee room to drop a D. <laughs> really fast because he's a swell pooper. Unfortunately, the evil monkey ate the dookie. Green Day's fucking M face, fucking heart hands and hands in the air. And Chris couldn't show it off to his friends. But then that's not all. Boomhauser wasn't on top of the world because he landed a slick kick onto that wide Mexican nose. And Klops fell to the ground with a clash. Take that, you little dangle, 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 little dangle,
Maron slid Adric, said boom pa sour, and he jumped for glee. Onto a car, which was Tiffus Lowrider, and she ran down Boom Hauer and, and as was dead, he looked over and saw Mexican flags on the Lowrider covered in his guts. A hawk ate the guts and gained very strong powers. But Boom Howard's skillful soul was too bad and the hawk was taken over by his spirit. It sprouts arms and says, Now my name is Boom Hawker, now flap your deer, dang, 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 run around, dang, 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 kill you. Ha ha! It flicked its hands fastly at Cleared, and he could not stand this taunt. If you move very quickly at a Mexican, they get ticked, because it disrupts their natch laziness. Ah, some, some nice, nice, good old colored racism. Tiffy came out of the car and she did a flip onto the hawk. I'll tame you, yeah, you landlubber, said the Latina girl. She had a weave which was poison and she whipped her poisonous hair under the animal which became an afraid pet. The hawk curled a lot and went, Nango man, but it was a trick and the hawk flew too high, four, twenty feet high, and it farted weed onto the T.O. Mexicans, but it didn't work. The queer too high on pot already. As the battle raged onwards, they went over 9,000 feet. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z joke, everybody. And so let's calm down and just appreciate it. He said 9,000. Do you know how funny that is? I, I can't even understand how funny that is. On a scale of 1 to 8,999, that's 9,000 right there. I, I just got to comment on that. That's, that's hilarious. And that's where they met Sihetharoth. Sephiroth! It was con, crossed with quagmire. Stupid hillbilly said, Sephiroth! He hit the world with a real big Asian chin, and the world cracked in two A's hit band, slightly stupid played in the big. Their anthems inspiring him to smash the continents. Well, this escalated quickly. So it was up to the old trickster Peggy to save the day. Oh yeah! Screamed Peggy as her giant foot hit Kanmir's face, and he licked it and smiled. <laughs> Said the boy, while they weren't paying attention. Bobby team up with his dad Honk, and their tools fix all the cracks that ugly chin made. Finally, Bobby, you made me so proud, says Hank with his dying breath. It'll always be there, even when you don't want me to, to guide your tools and hammers. Damn it, Bobby. Finally, that boy is right, dies Bobby's muscles swell, and he grows into a powerful man. Thank you kindly, Dad. I'll never forget your legacy. Bobby climbed towards Boom Hawker and used the sword to jab Sephiroth's eyes out. Gah! Said that Saiyan bitch. He's not a fucking Saiyan. I, I, this has become Dragon Ball Z. Final Fantasy and Fatal Frame all together. I'm not gonna forget the murder camera thing is Fatal Frame 2. Uh, electric Boogaloo. Uh, let's fucking keep going. And he fell into space where he died on planet aliens. Zorg and Snorg and Zortal ate his bones and blood. Lol. Bobby comes back down to Earth and Meg goes, Sow! And Bobby pushes Meg and goes, Sorry, I'm not gay anymore. My shoulders are too strong. He pushed her so hard his hand went through her head and blood spelled cool on the ground. Then Meg's body got fried in the Texas heat and turned into beef jerky and everybody celebrated with Meg's body made at the fiesta till they got too tired. Then the stinky meat killed them all and the world fell apart into space. Only Bobby Bobby was alive, floating in space, and Juan knows what kind of adventure he finds with aliens, but when he flexes, there's in space quack. The end. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. They're also things, and if you want to watch more just kind of random one-off fan fictions, click the link in the top right. It's a, it's a playlist. I Hopefully I'll put it on shuffle so it can kind of randomly switch between stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. It's an adventure. We'll see.